Hi guys, this is Gaz from Time Punk, formerly known as Radiant Silver Labs. And I was working on my own indie game all night long and I was wondering how many lines of code I'd written. And then I started to think, I wonder how many lines of code uh, GTA is. Or the old ones, not the new ones. Vice City, for example. And the reason I use that as a benchmark is because I was actually one of the developers on Vice City. More on that in a minute, but uh, I was googling to see if anyone had actually listed how many lines of code Vice City was, and I found this really interesting project where they've decompiled GTA 3 and Vice City, and you can actually see the code, you can get it, you can download it, you can build it. I'm not going to build it in this version, uh, I'm going to build it in uh, the next video, hopefully, but um, this project is amazing. Uh, it seems maybe Rockstar have taken it down or something, but someone else has uploaded it. And, and I'm, I'm sure I read on here it was like uh, 180, yeah, 1,000 lines of code. Uh, by the time he got it kind of going, this guy who did it all on his own, he's called uh, AAP. There he is. App. So legendary uh, reverse engineer guy, this guy. And his, and his mates uh, and the other people who I'm highlighting here. They've managed to reverse GTA 3 and then GTA Vice City. Well, basically, GTA 3 is basically, you know, based on... I mean, Vice City is basically based on GTA 3. So, the hard work is done if you can reverse engineer GTA 3. Um, so, yeah, he estimates the game to have about 200 to 250,000 lines of code. And I was thinking... How many lines of code do I have? And I haven't actually written a script to check it. And I think it'll probably end up about the same. But I use this as a, as a benchmark because I worked on Vice City. Um, and if I repeat myself, it's because I've I've already tried this intro about three times. And uh, one time I sounded like a gerbil because it was recording too high. One time it didn't record at all, etc. So, you know, get do a test before you record. Um, and I have been working all night. And I'm... Now having a beer, looking at this code, but this is the most exciting thing I've found in in years, to be honest. So it turns out that um, they have a branch of this code. This is the actual GTA three code, right? Reverse engineer, decompiled, so you can see in in the source directory here. They've it's been broken down nicely. I think this is Rockstar's own breakdown, but they actually have a branch called Miami which was the code name for um, Vice City when I worked there. Um, and they have the code for Vice City here. Um, like I say, I want to rebuild it, but um, not in this one. In this one, I just want to have a look through it, see if I can remember anything, see if it's real, see if it works. Um, so, yeah, just by thinking about how many lines of code I'd written, I actually found this project, and I think this is bloody awesome, in fact. And I think Rockstar shouldn't shut these things down at all. They should um, encourage them, pay them, you know, just just buy it. Just go, okay, this is a remake. It's great. I mean, we all know what happened to the uh, remakes they did on, was it Unreal Engine? Uh, they started off badly, and I think, actually, they're not so bad now, but... This sort of thing is, is absolutely exciting and like I say, I, I am an ex Vice City programmer and um, I'm going to give a few disclaimers here, right, just so people don't rip me in half or whatever you're going to do. Uh, first of all, I was only at Rockstar for about five months, right, and I didn't really leave a, a major lasting impact. Um, in fact, I was talking to some of the Rockstar uh, developers recently. Uh, Ob Ob uh, Ob the Midge, or I don't know how to pronounce his surname. He's a Dutch guy. I, he was one of the producers or, or, or lead coders, and I, I worked for him, and I went drinking with him and everything. But I spoke to him on LinkedIn. He literally didn't even know who I was. So that shows you, you know, how much of an impact I had. And I was also removed from the credits of this game before release. So yeah, you might think, oh yeah, what a load of shit this guy is spouting but um, I hope by looking through this code I can prove that actually I am a, a real rock star developer 
And my real name, and you can verify this, I, uh, I am called Gareth Murphan. My channel, uh, my, my portfolio is www.garethmurfin.com G-E-R-E-T-H-M-U-R-F-I-N And I was a genuine developer on this game for a short time. Uh, there was about nine of us, I think. And I was probably the most junior on the team. Um, I remember I sat next to Derek Payne. There was, there was Derek Staubs. There was um, Bahrain Chan. There was Adam Savage. I'm not going to go through the list. In fact, I'll just quickly find who who the, the coders were. Right, so uh, GT by City coders, and I should be on this list, but they removed me. Yeah, programmers. Um, they they removed me, and, and I was very bitter for many years. Adam Fowler, sorry, not Savage, um, but. I can understand it because I wasn't there very long and stuff. Leslie Benzies was obviously the producer. Even here, they haven't listed the programmers properly. There was a lot more programmers than this, um, but I sat next to Derek Payne. I remember that clearly. Anyway, I'm not here to prove that I was a coder. Um, and what I'm going to do is look through the code and see if I can understand anything, see if I can tell any tales from, the, from those days, uh, see if it's actually real. You know, anything like that. Um, let me make sure I've got a lighter before all this begins. Yes, I do. Right. So, here we go. Um, I'm not going to look at everything. Um, because, you know, animation. And I, I, I don't even hardly know what the animation code does. I never really looked at it myself. And please be aware that this has been 21 years. Since I worked on Vice City, 21 years. So given that I forget code that I did um, literally like last week, I probably won't remember anything. But I thought it would be a good look. Uh, and I thought it would be quite cool if I can remember any stories along the way. So here we go, right? What am I going to look at? Which directories am I interested in here? Well, let's have a look at control first. I don't remember this uh, control. And, I, and I'm sure we used, uh, what was it, Code Warrior, Source Safe. Um, was it Code Warrior or Visual Studio? But like I say, I, I, I think I mentioned that Miami was one of the, um, was the code name for the actual uh, game at the time before it was called Vice City, it was GTA 3 Miami and, and I do have uh, screenshots that I secretly took at the time but I never really shared of course just just to prove that I'd worked on it and I don't think I'm breaking in any or many NDAs right now because first of all it's been over 20 years and second of all I'm not going to release any secrets or anything because A I can't remember them and B I was probably not even privy to them in the first place right being uh, one of nine programmers or one of eight programmers it wasn't a big team, the coding team um, I was the junior coming in um, and I was sitting next to a, a decent guy from Birmingham called uh, Derek Payne and I remember Derek, was it Derek Stobbs or Derek Dow? No, Dow must have been a different company, I worked at DC Studios after but uh, A good bunch of guys. Anyway, let's have a look at this. I'll just I'll just talk and, and browse. Um, the authors of this will be interested, and maybe any GTA uh, coding fans will be interested too. <coughs> right. I'm just going to look through, see if I understand anything. Autopilot. I can't remember what this is for. I presume this is for flying craft, um, possibly cars. We'll have a quick look. It must be cars because it says things like their next lane. And this is all C++, uh, which I haven't coded for a long, long time. Since GDA, actually. Um, you can see it's quite nice, C++. I don't know if this is because the reverse engineers have made it a bit nicer than Rockstar made it. Or whether it was nice in the first place. You can see the definitions like 
uh, lane width and stuff. It's it's pretty nice code actually. And I remember some of this. Uh, maybe um, this file doesn't seem very interesting, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on right? Bridge car AI that would be worth looking at, wouldn't it? So you can see they've got standard methods, right? And then switch distance close. Uh, back in these days, people well they did have quite long method names, but um, sometimes I find it, it big companies and Rockstar they don't make things quite as long as they should, but it looks like they did actually. Find switch distance from normal vehicle. P vehicle. And I don't like this idea of people putting this, you know, P in front of the the variable name. I don't even know what that means. Is that pointer? I think it is pointer, yeah. Um pointer to a vehicle. You can see some magic numbers here. <laughs> Plus five, you know, classic. Um you can see that they've used B for Boolean. So if the point, if the vehicle is a law enforcer, i.e. a cop, uh, then return 50 for the switch distance. So you can already see some of the hard-coded rules. Back to cruising if not wanted level, you know, so, you know, the car will go back to cruising if you're not wanted, I guess. And you can see methods like find player ped, ped meaning pedestrian, and in fact, I use this in my own game. I call them peds in my game. Uh, I wrote a game called Terrapede. And I also worked on this code. So I'm not sure if I... When I call them peds, I'm not sure if it's because of Terrapede, where they were peds, the AI, or whether I was trying to... I was taking something from the GEA code and just making it sillier, right? Because I remember thinking ped was a bit silly. And I'm like, what the hell is ped? But yeah, it's pedestrian. So you can see, you know, you fly, find player ped, um, if he's wanted, if he's ignored, if he's a law enforcer, um, get the wanted level ignored by cops, things like that, no police. Uh, I'm not being very helpful here because it's literally the first time I've looked at this code in 21 years. And, you know, I might not have even looked at this code um, at the time. Well, I must have done, right, because I was working on the game... And I remember uh, when I joined the company, I said to them, oh, Christ, C++, you know, um, I've just done a four-year degree in Java, and I've just written my thesis and, and my major project in Java, so <clears throat> my C++ is a little bit out of date. And they, and they said, <coughs> that's all right, we're still waiting to work for us. Can you, um, can you brush it up a bit? So I remember writing... Uh, a Game Boy Advance game, and I was getting paid by them, and I was at the desk sitting there, and I was writing a Game Boy Advance game for a couple of weeks to learn it, and then I wrote a text editor called Boing, based, uh, you know, it was an Amiga themed text editor, because I was an Amiga fanatic, and uh, I was still using my Amiga, and I was actually playing, oh, let, let's go back a bit, the first time I saw GTA was in my brother's bedroom, in maybe... 98, and I was coding an Amiga game called uh, Zombie Massacre. I came from the Amiga, and this is a commercial release. He was playing GTA, and I was like, oh, it's a bit shit that. I'm sure, that was meant to be an Amiga game, but they made it kind of 3D, and they claimed the Amiga couldn't handle that, but it could. Um, whatever, I, I eventually started playing a game on my Amiga called Payback, which was a kind of an, a clone of GTA 1, and... Um, I loved that actually. I was using my Power PC chip, my Power Amiga, and then one. I was at university at this point, by the way, at Sterling, doing a computer science degree, and I came across this bloke playing GTA 3 in a flat. He was getting really, really high, and he was sitting there with a skateboard over his legs, rolling constant joints and, and just laughing his ass off. And I was like, "What's this game? This is amazing!" And it was GTA 3. Um, that was the first time I saw it, maybe, what was that, 99? Yeah, 2000. Anyway, back to the code. Um, so you can see they have all these uh, constants. Driving style, stop for cars. Um, that's guys who adhere the, to, the, to the traffic rules, if I remember rightly. And they've got all these other things. 
for missions, block car far away, ramp player far away, block player close, I guess this is when the, see it says if the vehicle is a law enforcer, if it's a police car, and if it's, if it's mission is that, or that, or that, or that, and then, uh, then find police car speed for wanted level, so obviously the cars must change speed depending on your wanted level, and as you remember, they would ram into you and if you were really wanted, they'd just fly off, <laughs> fly off the map and into the water <coughs> and miss you altogether. And I think this is the first time I started learning how to use a proper state machine. I remember coming to Rockstar and seeing this sort of stuff, this this switch statement here, right? Which is actually still how I code to these days. Uh, I presume these are all defined in the header file. Like I see, I've kind of forgotten how C++ works. Because I've been a Java guy for so long in C-sharp. My game's written in C-sharp. But you can see here that it'll switch the status. And if it's um, player player back from buffer, I don't know what that means. Train moving, train not moving, helicopter, plane, remote, disable, then it'll jump out. Uh, if not, then it'll do another switch. Uh, if it's the car is... Uh, on autopilot and in a mission, autopilot I presume means cars that are being operated by AI during a mission, then it will do this sort of stuff, right? Um, like I say, I'm not that familiar with it, but this code looks um, it looks nice and easy to read. I mean, I'm not able to read it instantaneously here because, like I say, I haven't seen it for 20 years and even if I had, it's very difficult to remember. But you can see spelling mistakes and things like that. Find player cores instead of chords. Um, you can see it gets the position and things like that. If the vehicle uses siren, then turn on the siren. Right? You can see that code quite clearly. Um, so, as I say, I'm just going to go through it and, and, and have a quick look. You know. Uh, find player is upside down so, so you can see a check there if the, car, if the car is upside down then something different will happen Rhino I presume that's a type of uh, car they had of course there's a lot of things in the code that aren't in the actual game itself like the Rhino might be just fat cars or something uh, big cars and you can see they're using random seats here to make it um, more rare, and I remember there was uh, even um, pre uh, pre processor statements for Katana, which was the uh, Dreamcast code name. So they, they, I remember at the time going, "Ooh, they're making a Dreamcast version." Or they were, and nobody really knows that, but that should be in this code somewhere, I guess. Tell occupants to leave car. Cruise speed zero, obviously the car stops. <clears throat> the mission is over, mission none. Get wanted level. Turn the siren off if it's less than or equal to one. I presume one <clears throat> is the lowest uh, wanted level, or one of them. That's why the siren's off. Join car with road system, go to cores. Again, if spelled coordinates without a D. Not quite sure why. Uh, yeah, blah 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 blah. So it's interesting how they've spe they've never used a D in chords the whole way. Mellow out chase speed, <laughs> which is obviously to bring it down a bit so it doesn't uh, go absolutely mental. Um, uh, just a bit of background. Actually, I I finished. Um, an MMO. Let me just check. I've got some hard drive space for this, so it doesn't run out of space while I'm talking. I've got 277 gig. I can see emergency vehicles there. Uh, I was working on an MMO called Vars, a virtual alumni reunion software, which you can find here at my my website. Just briefly, I'll find it. Uh, there is a screenshot somewhere. 
There we go. I was working on this thing, which is an online game, and it actually uh, got the attention of Rockstar somehow. I don't know how because I didn't even apply, but they rang me up and said, "Do you wish to come and work at Rockstar and try and network this thing?" So I went for a meeting. It was going to be a network game, right? If I could have achieved it, but I actually resigned before I did. And again, hopefully, no NDAs broken there. It's been 20 years. If Rockstar sue me, I'll be screwed. Of course, I can use that to promote my game if they do. Oh, Rockstar sue Genesee Dolphins developer. Anyway, they won't. Uh, so, I came in as a network coder, and, and um, I was doing a few other things, camera code and, and other stuff, but I'll explain that as I go anyway, so um, let's keep looking. Find nearest accident. Accident manager. <laughs> As you can see, it's passing the destination cause and the distance. Tell occupants to leave car. Obviously, they, they, they get out of the car when there's been an accident. Stop the mission. <coughs> Join car with road system, I think, means that they, you know, they, they appear on the road and follow a path. Is fire truck on duty? It was obviously a special case there. If it's a fire engine, find nearest fire you can see there, and then they find that, and then leave the car and stop the mission. Go to chords accurate. accurate. Ram car far away. That's obviously a type of mission. Like I can say that. A constant there is for something to do with missions. Ram car close for ramming cars. Block car. You can see the view switch statements very nicely and very cleanly actually. Code is uh, is is all right. You can see that they would say that you know if if the mission is slowly drive towards a player, then it will. Assign that one slowly drive towards player two. Blah blah blah. All different types of car AI basically. Status physics. I remember the physics guy was a, a Polish guy. He sat somewhere behind me, um, and my mind was blown by him because he was writing. He was showing me. I went over to his desk and he was showing me shock absorbers and physics for tires blowing out. And, Things that were kind of over my head by then, because I, really I was just writing zombies' heads getting exploded and bodies exploding for my Amiga games, uh, Zombie Massacre and uh, Gloom 3, uh, when I got the job. Which was a bit of a dream job, I remember going, wow, I have heard of you, you're the guys who made Lemmings. Because of course when I joined it was actually DMA Design. And then they, a week or two later they changed to Rockstar Studios, not Rockstar North, Rockstar Studios. And then another week later, they turned into Rockstar North. So they ended up with a headquarters in America somewhere. And that was interesting. So we became Rockstar North. Um, keep looking at this. Tempac Non. Last time collided. Um, again, is law enforcement. Find the player vehicle, get the vehicle appearance. Um, yeah, it's general code, right? There's no way you can really um, say exactly what was happening uh, without playing, testing, and knowing the code a lot. But you can see it's actually it's quite well written and nice. Car has reason to stop. Then uh, give it an anti-reverse timer. I don't know what that means. Maybe just. So it reverses, <coughs> get car, go to course. So that obviously sends the car to a certain coordinate. Um, why did the hell did they miss the D off course? I mean, now I'm going to start doing that in my code now, you know, peds, cores. I'm going to change that to cores extra light. Add police car occupants. So this obviously put police in the car. 
if they've already been generated then bail out and uh, classic C here with this little arrow instead of the dot that we have come to assume in Java due to pointers and all that shit FBI ranch what's that mean oh the rancher enforcer basically if they're coppers put the passengers in barracks must be the police uh, the army uh, police rhino barracks I don't know what rhino is I think that must just be uh, tanks I guess predator set up the driver vice MI vice chi and that sets a boolean called Miami Vice Cop to true. You can see they were very into the Miami thing, and this was dropped. I don't think they really mentioned <coughs> Miami much more, but you can see that Miami Vice Cop was some kind of high level um, cop at the time. Uh, number of Miami Vice Cops, you know, these name these variable names are a bit strange because why would you need to use the word Miami in your vice in your variable? But whatever. I wasn't, I wasn't in the master coder back then. I was, but I uh, managed to get through the interview. The interview, by the way, was with Leslie Benzies, who is a really cool guy, really handsome, charismatic, sound, ex-programmer, and Oba Vermidge. I think that's the way you say it. He also a very legendary guy. And I remember talking about. In the interview I talked about, uh, what was it, it was about network code, um, what was it, um, it was like packets, so it wasn't TCP, it was the other one uh, for real time networking, and I remember talking about servlets and things, and they were like, oh you'll have to explain that to me sometime, and I was in the lift explaining some of the network stuff that I was an expert at back then, but I'm not now. But it's very interesting to read. It's strange that they haven't indented the case statements here. But you can see fire truck, FBI car, enforcer, barracks, rhino, police jumps out there. So they never leave the car by the looks of it. If it's an ambulance, yes, they get out of the car. Driver say sound ped leave vehicle, which I presume is a uh, WAV that they use when they get out of the vehicle. Like, oh, let's resuscitating that sort of thing um, telecom is to flee car that must be when you know something's happened they're on fire so they, could, they run out and again you can see here by the switch that certain people never flee ambulance people do flee and they use the same audio sample tell car to ram other car you know it's kind of Self-explanatory, you can see the vehicle here, autopilot has been given a target car of P target. Again, I hate this use of P in front of everything and B in front of booleans, but uh, this was the way and still is actually, I just don't do it. Um, you can see that the, the cruise speed has been set to um, some sort of random between 6 and whatever it is. So it's not always identical. Tell car to block another car. Find police car mission for wanted level. Blah blah blah. That's a random numbers. Find police boat mission for wanted level. So yeah, if you're wanted, no. Find police boat mission. I don't know if that's uh, just finding a mission or finding police for the mission. And you can see all this use of uint8 and int32, very C++ type stuff, which I am unfamiliar with these days. I just use Java ints and C sharp ints, but obviously they're just different, um, you know, the capacity of the int. Blah, blah, blah. Mellow out chase speed, that must slow it down a bit. I'll go through this a bit quicker because I'll be here all day. But it is very interesting, and I, and I do love it. Temp acts with right, temp acts with left. So yeah, so that was car AI, right? Which is much, much shorter than you would expect. It's only 800 lines. Um, 
We'll look just a quick look at the header file, so we should be able to see these um, things defined here. Yes, in C++ you have to define all the method headers here. Uh, I don't know where the well, it must be in autopilot. All those uh, constants. Um, car control. This will be the actual player controlling the car. What it defines there? Look at that. Last time Miami Vice generated. Yeah, they didn't do any refactoring on this, did they? And you can see some crazy maths here. It's it's very GTA. Generate one random car. If number of cars is greater than traffic multiplier multiplied by car density multiplier multiplied by car number multiplier, then return. Uh, I guess that means if there's too many cars, you know. Um, the camera is always referred to like that as a is that a static global? Um, whatever. I did work on the camera code, uh, which I'll get to in a minute or a few minutes. Generate car creation coors. So coors, I don't remember this, but it must have been um, always what they said instead of chords. Find objects kind of colliding. <laughs> Kind of colliding because you know you never can be sure if something's exactly colliding. You, you have to go a bit f a plus or minus a little bit. Um, not spawning vehicle if road is one way and intended direction is the opposite of that way. Okay, so you don't put cars going the wrong way down the street. Blah blah blah. This is quite a large file. I'm going to zip through it because this could go on forever. <clears throat> and as you might be able to tell, I, I really don't have a lot of memory of this because it was 21 years ago. Is boat model. But it's so exciting to see this, you know. And, and in the next one, probability of dead ped accident. Uh, in the next one, I want to uh, build this code. And actually, I, I said I was removed from the credits. I think I said that. Well, my aim is to rebuild this and put myself back in. But the main mystery I want to solve with this code is why I'm not in the credits and how, more specifically, how. There must be a piece of code somewhere that comments out certain people that they didn't think were worthy of being credited, you know. And I must be one of those people. So, um, it'll be interesting to find out um, where that code is and how I'm excluded. I'm just going to pause this and make sure that I'm actually recording. Well, yeah, I think I am. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself at 7 in the morning, drinking beer, after coding all night. And I am an independent software developer who lives in Taiwan. These days, I uh, don't live in Scotland or England. Uh, back then, it was great. Um, I lived in Stirling. Um, it wasn't that great, actually, because I had a commute from Stirling to Edinburgh every day. And that was a fucking nightmare. You know, I had to be up before seven. And um, then I had to get a train from Stirling to Edinburgh. That would get me to, uh, what was it, Central Station and Princess Street. Then I had to get the bus, I can't remember what it was called, A22 I think it was called. The bus from Princess Street down to Leith, where they were at the time, right? Scummy hellhole before they were trillionaires. They're not in Leith anymore, they're on Princess Street. I've seen the big glass building with the big rock star logo where they denied Leslie Benzie entry uh, famously after his so-called sabbatical. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Apart from that, Leslie Benzie was excellent, and uh, if Rockstar fall apart, then it's their own fault. If greed gets the better of you and you kick people out, and that makes your product worse, then uh, well, it's your fault. If the player, fine player ped, is wanted, and I and my are Miami P Vice required, Miami Vice. Then, you know, again, that must be the elite um, version of the police, or just police. 
Uh, everyone was obsessed by Miami Vice at this company. I remember walking in actually the first day. They were like, "This is the studio. You'll be sitting here." And I was like, "Why? Why on God's earth is everyone in this room obsessed with eighties music? They're all listening to eighties music. This is the most bizarre game studio I've ever been to." And to be fair, I'd never been to a game studio. This was my first industry job. My my last studio was my bedroom in uh, Newcastle or Cramlington, where I made my zombie games. But I certainly didn't have you know ninety people listening to eighties music. But as soon as I sat down at my computer and booted up my uh, PS2 dev kit, huge PlayStation Two thing, uh, the music started playing, and I realised no, they're not obsessed. It's all coming from the game, and everybody's joypad was vibrating around and that was because you know the game generates vibrations and you're writing code and your joint pads on the side your joint pads going vroom, 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 and there's loads of 80s music blaring out as you code you know Miami Vice Cycle switch that and and this is pretty weird look they've just got case one two three no constants there looks like that just loads uh different car models right again I think this code is actually cleaner than I used to think I used to think this code was really confusing but my code skills were probably worse then either that or the reverse engineer guys have, have neatened it up and I think these things if deaf bugs I think these have been added by the reverse engineers because I think what they've done there is that they've noticed that there are bugs and fixed them and that's why they've put these uh, preprocessor definitions in and let's try and work out what the bug they're fixing is right because the code's identical apart from that all so it says last time Miami Vice generated equals zero so they've removed that oh no they've they've added that so possibly that means they don't want to add too many cops I don't know what Vice Chi is. Chi Chi? No, I don't know. Keep going. R SWAT required. There's an interesting one. Find the player if he's wanted and SWAT are required. And the models are already loaded. Return whatever. Enforcer, police. Choose gang car model. It's very self explanatory. Remove distant cars, obviously an optimization. If the vehicle is no, carry on going, or not no, carry on going. Possibly remove vehicle, presumably if it's not visible. Create roadblock peds. Don't know what that is. So car, car peds. Distance to spawn roadblock peds. I don't remember any roadblock peds. Remove cars if the pool gets full. So obviously if there's too many cars active, then get rid of some. And get rid of the distances less than blah blah blah. Get rid of the, the furthest away vehicles, I think. Although it says closest there. That can't be right. Possibly remove vehicles. So again, that's uh, just trying to work out what vehicle to remove. And the camera, yeah. Very easy global static access to that all the time. If it's on screen... Extended off screen is permanent. If the vehicle is on screen, or looking left, looking right, looking behind, blah blah blah, parked, ambulance, fire truck, law enforcement, car park vehicle, despawn range, etc. Remove the distant ones basically. Count cars of type, let's just find out how many cars of different types. Get random offset for vehicle. Okay, just a bit of randomness there. Find maximum speed for this car in traffic. Actually, I do like the way they've named these uh, functions, as we used to call them. They are verbose, and I like verbose. Scan for ped danger. Slow car on rails down for traffic and lights. So that's just to slow them down when they get to the traffic lights. Slow car down for ped sector list. I don't know what that does. A lot of code here. I'll skip that by. Ped stuff done. Now vehicle stuff. 
And I remember the guys who wrote a lot of this code, so some of this, um, I can almost picture the way they would write it. Of course, I have no idea who really wrote that. It's probably um, you know, Adam Fowler or something. Or, I remember, um, what was he called? O'Hanlon. David O'Hanlon? He, he uh, was the camera code guy I, I took the code off. And he went to work for the police, actually. He, he resigned on the same day as me and went to work coding Java for the police in Edinburgh. And everyone was, like, properly disgusted by that. Test collision between two moving wrecks. So the wrecks, obviously the car is just a rectangle at the end of the day for mathematical speed. Find angle to weave through traffic. That's good. So obviously when they're overtaking and going through things, they're working out the angle there using... Um, some sort of distance and then oh some some curvy mathematics you know what's it called busy air curves or whatever um we through car set the list blah 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 we through pads we've paired skip down all this and like I see I didn't even write half this and then I probably don't even really read half of this very much. Obviously more bugs fixed there, they've, they've kind of introduced uh, something here that can fix the pathfinding. How have they done that? Oh, they've added a target Z there, so I guess that just keeps it on the road or something, or takes that into account. Yeah, so they make a vector with a Z there. Whereas actually in the real code, it looks like they've used zero always, which is on the on the ground. So maybe that target Z stuff is because the car could be in the air or something. I don't know. Uh, keep going, keep going. This is so interesting. It's so brilliant. and I'd like to do it slower than this, but when I found it, I was like, wouldn't this be a good video, eh? X Vice City Code. I'm looking through Vice City Code. Like I say... You know, I wasn't there long, I wasn't the major coder, I was the junior boy who everyone slapped around. Um, and the Manhunt team was uh, sitting just 10 metres away from me, watched them work on Manhunt, and I remember thinking, oh, I'm glad I'm not working on that, because this is famous and that isn't, but actually, I bloody love Manhunt. And in many ways, I wish I had swapped teams um, so I could say I worked on Manhunt, but I didn't. Although I did uh, play football with them in the office one day and uh, they were kicking a football around during the World Cup and like, one of them literally just like smashed a computer over or a server or something and it was just, you know, completely flawed. And no one really cared, there was no bosses around. We were just having a good time. So you can see the in it here, I would always line all these equals and zeros up. I like to keep my code beautiful and lined up, but uh, it looks like I developed that habit after I was here. Max cars to keep, re it, blah blah blah, drag car to point. Steer AI car with physics. I remember there was another girl, she was Korean, uh, Brain Chan, and uh, she was cool. Um, and actually one of the most interesting points about Rockstar is when I got there, I was, um, when I got to the interview, I was trying to show them Zombie Massacre on the Amiga, and they were like, we've seen it. I was like, you've seen it? How could you see it? The Amiga's dead. No one uses the Amiga. Nobody even knows what Zombie Massacre is. You're just lying. And they were like, no, 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 we've seen it. Someone here worked on it. I was like, what, someone at Rockstar North, or DMA, worked on Zombie Massacre, my Amiga game, which is literally um, me, one musician and like two artists. Yes. Who did it turn out to be? But the musician for Zombie Massacre, my game, was he was at Newcastle University. I went and put some posters up around and I was like, I need a musician for my game. And he actually did the music. And then he went and used that demo to get into Rockstar North. And in his interview, he'd actually showed them Zombie Massacre. So they weren't lying. They had seen it. And he was there. Will Morton, a friend of mine. I think he was trying to bang Bahrain actually at the time because I remember, you know, he was hanging around a bit too much and I was like, ooh, she looks quite nice, whatever. Um, 
it's good times. So I used to have dinner with uh, Will in in the music studio, which I'm pretty sure they had like. Well, they were talking. They didn't do it, but they were talking about uh, levitating or, or lifting the whole thing up on wires to stop vibrations from cars. Because in Leith there was a lot of traffic, and, it, and then the building was quite old and stuff. But I don't think they quite did it. But actually, I was uh, a voice actor too, and I worked and I just did one line. Ah, shit, man, I'm out of here. I don't know if that was cut because it's it's hard to find, but. Uh, I, I went to the studio and did that and they had this little tiny cubby hole with all the sound uh, muffling and that and I remember doing the line and I also remember them saying oh really hot is here really hot is here can't believe really hot is in the building I was like who's she who's that and they were like who's she you don't know who really hot is um, I didn't I had actually seen Goodfellas but I uh, didn't know the name of the actors and stuff Right, Mission Heli Land, blah 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 blah. I'm getting bored of this file. I'm just going to skip to steer AI heli towards target Coors. So that was obviously an in joke, that Coors nonsense. Some sort of beer reference. A bit of maths there, normalised. Max cars, yeah, good file, but I'm getting a bit bored of it. Generate one emergency services car, so that was obviously to spawn an ambulance. Right, thank God we're finished car control. I'm not going to look at the H. I don't, don't care about curves. I'll just have a quick glance at curves. See how they, see how they did that. Okay, I bet you it was. Uh, What's the word? Is it busier? No, there's another word. Anyway, forget that. Dark L. I don't know what Dark L is. And the comment says, get rid of most Miami comments. Dark L. Collect time kill counter RGB colors on the front end. Blah, blah, blah. Makes game handle sound instead of SMH. Just like in GTA 2. And actually, I knew some of the GTA 2 coders. The, the machine I got when I sat down at my desk originally I was covered in GTA 2 stickers and it looked ancient. I was like, really? Coming to work at one of the big studios and they're giving me this shit computer. And they were like, no, this is the, the main build machine for GTA 2. But uh, as soon as I sat down, they replaced it with a, a lovely brand new black Dell machine and gave me this beast of a PS2 dev kit. And you know the funny thing? I said I was a network coder, right? I was working on the network code for at least two weeks and I kept getting this bug null something, null that, you know, and library not initialized, and, then, and I had to get all these libraries from a company in London called SN Systems, and eventually I realized that the dev kit didn't have a modem, of course it didn't, why would it? So all my errors were caused by the fact that it literally had no modem, so we had to get a modem, I think, sent from SN Systems or Sony or something to put in there. That was interesting. Right, fade, calculate fade, that's just it, um, going through the fade of black to game, I guess. Draw messages, oh, that's good. If there's a kill frenzy ongoing, just to fire it, background off, center red, blah, blah, blah. Kill frenzy passed, that'll be when it finished. You can see they've fixed some bugs here, and they've actually uh, scaled the screen. That's what they've done there, they've just added screen scaling. Back in the day, I guess the resolution was completely uh, set. On the PS2 one, anyway, I didn't work on the place, uh, PC one. I think they took about nine months to port that after I left, so I'm surprised that they didn't have uh, screen scaling in that. I presume you could pick any res you wanted. And I had it on the PC later. Funny story, as one of the developers, of course, you expect a copy of the game, don't you? And they asked for my address and that, and sent me it. What did I get? Copy of GTA 3 in the post. Copy of GTA 3 on the release of Vice City. Thanks Rockstar. And they had already given me a copy of GTA 3 the day I arrived. And to be honest, we're going to talk about things they gave us. Oh God. Um, every two days we got free stuff. Rockstar hoodies. GTA. It was a lot of GTA 3 merch still going around. 
GTA 3 t-shirts, Vice City t-shirts, Rampage t-shirts, Vice City towels, uh, money clip. I actually met one of the Hauser brothers. He came over with a money clip. Um, <laughs> register car blown up by player. He came over with a money clip. I didn't know who he was and he was like, yeah, you want one of these? I was like, oh, cheers, man. Uh, not that I, what, I, I was like, what is it? What is that? He was like, it's a money clip. You don't know what a money clip is? I was like, no, isn't that something like rich people or old people carry? And, and I says, I'm never going to have any money to put in this anyway. How much can it hold? And he literally flung down onto the table in front of me his money clip, same one, with about 600 quid in it. It just landed, boom, on the desk. A real heavy, thick-sounding money clip with a real bundle of cash in it. It was like, that's how you use your money clip. And I was like, whoa, dude, how have you got so much money? Who are you? He's like, oh, I'm one of the owners of the company. You know, you know, you'll, you'll get there, mate. If you keep working and do a good job on this game, you'll get that kind of money and bonuses. And I keep getting sidetracked, but, you know, I might as well tell the stories while I remember them. Um, uh, bonuses were colossal. People getting BMWs and stuff. I got nothing because, like I say, I left before release and the bonuses were coming in from GTA 3. But I do remember a couple of people coming in with brand new cars they'd bought from one month's uh, bonus. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'll just try to remember what else we got, right? Gifts. And they'd say, come to the reception. And there was, uh, what's she called? Kim. Kim Gurney. She'd hand it all out. We've got a Rockstar North doormat. You know in the game, when it says not welcome, Rockstar North, we got them. I've still got mine. Um, most of my stuff, unfortunately, was um, destroyed by my parents when I moved abroad. With a couple of stuff, managed to survive. And the doormat was good. I, I had two. I think I used one as a real doormat and it. It got ruined, but I, I kept the other one um, in the garage, so hopefully it's still there. And the some people were like, "Why would I want the doormat?" So me and uh, Derek Payne, we took one each, two each. So yeah, I bet he still got his two. Anyway, you can see here: register kill by player, which weapon it was, whether it was a headshot or not, what weapon it was, Uzi, rammed, run over, flamethrower, Molotov. So yeah, what else did we get, man? Uh, did I mention the razor blade key ring? The t-shirts, the hoodie, the towels, the... So much, the money clip. Right, start frenzy, blah, blah, blah. See, they've even got references to GTA PS2. Oh, yeah, GTA PS2, yeah. Deal with weapon change, blah blah blah. Okay, I don't know what Dark L stands for. What does that mean? Leave it in the comments below if you're one of these guys. Game logic. Now, this must be a colossal file. Let's check how many lines that is. No, not at all. Less than 700. Um, mission replay. What a place to check. Trying porn for again. So that's just another thing about the Vice City people. They were a bit, you know, silly and young, just like me. And some of the variable names would be ridiculous, right? Porno and things like that. Clear adrenaline. Now, I don't remember adrenaline being an issue in the game. Kill player, clear adrenaline, arrest player. Adrenaline might be... When you were out of breath, no, or something. Override hospital level, override police station level. So if you died, obviously, right, then you would, is that death? Yeah, if you were dead or whatever, then it would clear these things and reset them. That was interesting though, droplets. I do think there was... Water on the screen on Vice City, right? Now and again, in the rain. Or blood. 
So that's obviously what the droplets are all about. Uh, get pad. Is that the joy pad? Yeah, it must be. Fade in after death. So it said it doesn't start at black. Ironically, it starts at 200, 200, 200, which would be a grey white. Four seconds to fade in. I did like the way the camera is always referred to so simply like that. Although I never ever start variables with a capital T, a capital letter myself, but I realised back in the C++ days things were different and in fact that might be the standard, right? If it's a global or static you may put a capital, but I'm a bit of a Java boy. I'm like the guy who, who was in and worked for the police and everyone was like, dude, you're leaving this to go and work for the pigs? They didn't call them pigs though, they called them Miami Vice Cops. Um, busted audio, blah 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 blah. Take money. So this obviously, um, switch. if you switch the wanted level, take money was 100, 200. So this is obviously the reward that you got? No. It looks like money that you are getting or being taken off, depending on your wanted level. Don't remember that. Oh, I guess if you get arrested or something. Yeah. <laughs> Player, get out of jail free. Yeah, a bit of Monopoly reference. If you're in a vehicle, blah, blah, blah. If it's wrecked, if it's abandoned. Um, droplets initialized. Skip, skip, skip. Boring. Restore player stuff during resurrection. So obviously when he came back to life, this re-initializes absolutely everything he can have. <laughs> if he's on fire, extinguish him. If player ped dot m underscore p fire, player ped dot m underscore p fire dot extinguish. And see, I'll say dot instead of that arrow, right? Because again, I'm a Java kid. Teleport to zero zero zero. Set move speed to zero zero zero. Blah blah blah. You get the general idea, right? It puts you back at the at the epoch, as we might say. Shortcuts. Abandon shortcut if taxi has been messed with. <laughs> well, I do like this actually. It is a sort of code that I write these days, and I wonder if I kind of copied them. Abandon shortcut if player miles away. It's it's kind of like you would speak. And they're all smart people, by the way. Everyone was smart. I was probably the dumbest guy in, the, in there. Not really, though. I was a bit of a legend. Made my own zombie games. I remember the guy next to me, Derek, he made a game called Parcel Panic for the PlayStation 1 for his dissertation, and uh, we played that sometimes. He showed me some of his stuff, and I showed him some of mine when we were slacking off. Talking about slacking off, and um, people talk about uh, crunch at Rockstar. I, I never really saw much of that. They they literally said that the the only stuff I saw was one day Leslie came round and he said, "Yeah, he whispered in everyone's ear individually. Look, we're in the last phases here. Yeah? Less messenger, more code. Meaning, you know, get off MSN messenger, write code. So don't spend your day chatting. And that was it. It was it wasn't a bad atmosphere. It was lovely." And um, that guy I was talking about, Mark O'Hanlon, he, he used to sleep there every night. He worked there all night. He slept under his desk, showered in the in the office, and he worked like a Trojan, that guy. To, I guess he was trying to clean up all of his code before he left. And I'm sorry if I'm giving away any strange things to people, but this is just memories from 20 years ago. Nobody can, nobody can be pissed off. In fact, if you get a mention and you are listening to this, then hey, how are you doing? You probably don't know who I am anyway. I think I mentioned earlier that I uh, that the guys didn't even know who I was. I had to produce a photograph of us in um, Yo Sushi, saying, yeah, man, I met you. We were chatting and you hired me. Um, just because you hired a lot of people doesn't mean I didn't exist. Um, of course, there is no proof. <laughs> there is no proof that I existed because I was removed from the credits. But with this reverse engineering, I hope to prove that I actually was there, and that they explicitly cut me out. Again, I don't blame them. I've been removed from most of the credits of games I've worked on. 
seems to be a thing where a new coder comes along and he's oh I've done more work than you on this. You're not the lead coder anymore. You're the um, you're the additional programmer. And then an another additional programmer comes in, right? And he does a bit of work and he thinks yeah, I've done more work than that guy. Why is he the initial programmer? Let's just delete him altogether. Remove him. And oh, he's still in the credits. Remove him from that too. Um, it happens. Coders remove each other. I try not to. Even if they're unknown, I'll put original programmer, unknown, additional programming. But coders, I don't know, they're credit hungry. I know I am. And they remove people. And like I say, I wasn't a big part of this game, so maybe it was fine to remove me. I was pretty pissed off at the time, especially getting the wrong copy of the game. Game process pirate check. Some kind of piracy. Was it? Yeah, secure on. Cam should be outside, spelt wrong. Garage, we are in for hack. Avoid first person equals nil. That's funny that first person. Was there a first person one? I think that might have been on the cars actually, yes. So I was probably just turning that off when they went into a garage. A lot of resets to garage stuff. Door height. <clears throat> I think that's when the door moves up, right? Or down. Collect car, 60 seconds, script or mm, hide, hide, hide. I must say this is really fascinating. Crusher. Is that, yeah. Crusher, is that that thing that crushed the car? Fully closed. And of course, a lot simpler than I remember. Although, you know, it's difficult to follow still, of course. Bomb shop, one, two, three. Uh, full credit to the guys who reverse engineered this, by the way. I, I think this is absolutely insanity. I thought it would be completely uh, obfuscated code that would be impossible to reverse engineer, and I would never, ever get the chance to see how I was removed from the credits. What In what fashion did they do it? Uh, was it a, was it an if statement? You know, was there a, a boolean called, like, you know, lazy twat or talentless cunt? If talentless cunt, then uh, dot remove from credits. But I think uh, I'm going to get to see that. Maybe not in this part, but uh, in the next part that I do, if I ever get around to it. Uh, and I've got to get up tomorrow, so I shouldn't even be doing this, but I was just so excited when I found it, right? Just trying to compare my lines of code to GTA. Some bloke on Quora said that GTA 5 was 36 million lines of code. Now, no, it isn't. Right. Not that I worked on GTA 5, but I'll, I'll bet my bollocks that it wasn't 36 million lines of code. This was 250,000. Look at that. Mark this car as collected for Craig. Who the hell's Craig? Uh, was it guy? Was he Craig Connors? No, he wasn't a quarter. Though. So either they mean crack, or that may be for a mission. Oh, a lot of times people tack their name onto something just to just so they know they've written it um, for ambiguity's sake. But I don't think that's what's happening there. Opening, opening, closing, keep car, remain closed, blah, blah, blah. Like I say, I can't go through all this. I, I'm just uh, skipping through, all right, you know, whatever. Calculate distance to garage, rectangle, squared, blah, blah, blah. Find vehicle, closing. A lot of uh, statements and um, states <coughs> for the logic and... Very few people on earth could read this and, and work out what it means. You, you need to play it and code it. And there's no comments either. I presume that's because they were removed, or well, some comments, by the compiler, right? Because I am a comment mentalist. I'd have been writing comments for all of this. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention that the only way this could be possible is if they somehow know what everything is called. Right from the uh, machine code or assembly, because there's no way you could do this without knowing that, which means there must be some sort of table somewhere. 
which has helped them reconstitute this code and without that table it wouldn't be possible <clears throat> I'll look into that though <clears throat> because I doubt I doubt even you know uh, Einstein if it was a John Carmack master coder could do this without some sort of reference because this would all be like if a equals b dot c dot d uh, if it was obfuscated and I presume obfuscation existed back then in the C++ world uh, I could be wrong but still a hell of a lot of work in this need to find Dora so a hell of a lot of work to do this uh, I'm stunned um, almost as much work as writing the game in the first place and I was going to say it's amazing that Rockstar haven't shut it down but I did find some bits that have been shut down and this might not even be the official github but I don't think it is but I'm going to uh, I'm going to build it myself and I'm going to take out that single line of code that humiliates me when I play Vice City and I'm looking and I'm telling everyone hey, I'm in, I made this game yeah look at me and the, the credits come up and I stare and I can't see myself huh that's good if def fix bugs and they've swapped the uh, decrementer i minus minus instead of minus minus i which is subtle because it does change the order slightly uh, only people who write minus minus i are trying to be smart right I mean, they're, they're just trying to be cool so they've just put it back to uh, you know not being cool and that must have actually affected um, something well I guess because if you do minus minus I it it will put it below zero will it instead of I minus minus no whatever it'll do it in a slightly different order oh look at that is bike oh they did have bikes in Vice City didn't they okay um, blah 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 hideout motion. this is so cool seeing the original code it's just so exciting can't wait to build it I could port this to C sharp and get it running in in Unity, <clears throat> of course, then I would be sued by Rockstar if I haven't uh, already been sued by producing this video. Is player entirely inside garage? <laughs> yeah, so the door shuts when you're entirely in. What was that one we just did? Uh, all right, garages.cpp. So let's go down a little bit. Name grid. This sounds boring. <clears throat> yeah, it's just some boring crap uh, text tools. On screen timer, same shit, right? Boring, boring, boring. DMA audio, is that a reference to DMA or is that a reference to direct memory access, which is why they were called that? An Amiga reference. <coughs> Pathfind, I'll be interested to see this because I'm an AI coder these days and pathfinding is. Pathfinding is a difficult thing to work out. Oh, I bet you it is based on them, them curves, and I still can't remember the word I was looking for. It's all nodes, paths, super smart maths. Nodes, paths, and super smart maths. Magic numbers divided by 16, blah, blah, blah. Count flood fill groups. And this is. It is quite sexy um, looking at this. And I've read the code for Doom too. Um, and I've read the code for even the moon landing. And the um, code for Pong. And Well, Pong was actually done all in hardware, to be honest. Uh, I've written it though. Uh, who couldn't? Calculate road density. Ooh. If to find GTA bridge, set links bridge lights. That's interesting, uh, it's not related at all, but <coughs> we were actually in Leith next to a park called Leith Link, no, Leith Links, which is why the golf course in Vice City is called Leith Links, bit of a reference. I remember the office building, I have photographs, but I don't know if I'm allowed to release them, but we had like cardboard cutouts of GTA 3, uh, you know, the shit you'd see in the shop outside the studio. The studio was on the right and the playtesting was on the left. I arrived the first day, I was so tired and I was hunched over in the corner 
and coders or some producer came in he was like you must be one of the new testers because I looked like shit and I didn't look enthusiastic and I was like no I'm one of the new programmers I am the new programmer and they were like oh and then I walked in and got myself set up with my new PC and my new dev kit and I thought I was pretty fucking godly and you know going to parties and telling people oh I work for Rockstar no people were shitting their pants and they also were quite impressed that I worked for Rockstar no Fine node pair closest to Coors. Oh, do I? Am I going to adopt this Coors thing? No, I can't. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding it too. Well, I don't think so. Water path. Yeah, I would like to find the code where you fall into the water and you just stop, you just die and can't move. Like I say, I might do another um, video on this when I've. When I've built the code and I understand it and I can tinker with it, you know, you'd add swimming back in, you could do anything. You could take chunks of code from San Andreas, not that, not that they've they decompiled that yet, but uh, that'll be on their list. You could take chunks of code from San Andreas and put the swimming back in, for example. Of course, it, you'd have to populate the sea and stuff, but it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Save. Display path data, blah blah. Is that for debug? Yep. Draw car node itself. Render line with clipping. Okay, and yeah, we've got the X there for the colors. F, all Fs is white, of course. Um, blah 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 blah. FF0000. That's uh, I think the FF there is just opacity maxed. And then the 0000, zero, 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 zero is black. Red, green, blue. Unless it's the other way around, but I don't think so. It could be that the opacity is at the end, I'm getting mixed up, but I don't think so. Not that it matters. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, power points. What's that? Some cut beta feature. Nothing in there. It's interesting to know what they would have done. Record.cpp Record game for data. So this is either for saving the game or for recording uh, demos. I think I think it's demos or or card does something and then the path gets stored and then replayed back. Uh, so it's consistent. All right, uh, good on tight, mate. Replay. This must be for um, replaying the so-called. <coughs> data that they've just recorded record particles so even the particles were stored head animation just so people do exactly the same thing every time right you you replay a scene over and over again and make sure it does the same thing in, in a cutscene or whatever replay packet particle bullet traces everything now I don't know if this was actually used or if it could have been used in the cutscenes or it could have been not used. Uh, I presume it was. This is for cutscenes and things. And you, you might have even been able to control the, the characters to get them right, and then record them, and then play them back. So, so it was kind of human design. Process replay camera. Yeah. I don't remember a replay mode. So either not used or for cutscenes. Skipping on a bit. I don't want to go on forever. Um, restart. That will just reset everything. Initialize. Reset this. Some interesting variables though, you know. Hospital restart points. Uh, police restart. Headings. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Find the closest. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Less code than you expect actually, isn't it? Roadblocks, this will be when the cops would throw down them things on the road that cut your wheels, or or when the cars just print, uh, not print, uh, line up on the road to stop you, right? Not enough room for potential roadblocks. So that obviously sets up the roadblocks of the cars, yeah. 
roadblock cop for car. Generate roadblocks, yep, that's just for making them. Okay, script roadblocks, create roadblock between two points. Yeah, I used to think this maths was mind blowing, but you know, 20 years later, I actually think it, it looks uh, quite doable. And the reason I'm so interested in Vice City is because I, that's the kind of level of complexity I'm aiming for in my game. Possibly a little bit higher, but but not really. If I could achieve this, I'd, I'd be happy. You can see that this class scene edit. I guess this was for developers or mission scripters. <laughs> and we did have, uh, like in the test department, there was, I think there was mission scripters and over there in the main studio uh, coding room. Yeah, because we, there's about, I don't know, 60 of us in one room. Artists at the back, coders where I was, manhunt team in the corner, in the middle, you know, some modelers and mission guys. Uh, usually at the back was where all the elite people sat and you know you felt afraid walking down there. There was a kitchen and they bring you food and there was a meeting room, post-it notes everywhere, showing the missions. And it was excellent. Apart from that I was so damn tired the whole time. Because I had to get up so early. I was up at seven, didn't get back till seven. Unsustainable for a guy who's just left university and he's up all night drinking and coding. Load movie, movie dot that. It must be uh, the data files for cutscenes, yeah, or whatever they were using this for. See, so save movie. This is obviously a developer's tool where you could actually do something and write it out and then reload it. Blah, 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 update, set font. Delete movie, delete actor, move actor. So you can see they can actually set the position of an actor, presumably a character in a cutscene, yeah, like a guy standing there, to a new position, current vec, current position, and then he would uh, gradually move there. Or maybe it's instant. Um, it crashes, also makes no sense. So you can see they've fixed some bugs here. Uh, they've, they've set an actor to null, or nil as they call it in the C++ world. Whoever it was doing this minus minus at the beginning was maybe a smart genius or someone who was being silly. I never do that. But like I say, I'm, I'm a bit more of a high level coder these days. Go to, go to and wait. I, I've written my own AI so this seems very similar. Get in car of course. Objective, enter car as driver. Obviously a driver getting in. And whatever needs to be done there. Kill. Set camera target, that will be for following a certain character. It's good this because it kind of vindicates you when you've written your own code and you think, am I an idiot? And you go, no, look, this is how the Rockstar boys did it. And I dare say I understand this infinitely more than I did at the time. Clear, blah, blah, blah. Select actor two. So we want there's two of them around. The camera. Dot source. And get gets the position so the camera position or the source is set to the actor position take away the vector cam heading which is some sort of you know offset zoom or something like that select weapon oh this is sexy isn't it if you're unarmed you'll get the cult 45 weapon type detonator weapon type brass knuckle brass knuckle the American on the team there we call them uh, Knuckle dusters. Knuckle dusters. Unarmed. Minigun. Get triangle. Get circle. Yeah, these are for uh, the joypad. So, scene edit. Obviously, oh, that, that was just for designing scenes, right? And actually, I do. I think I do remember them using that for the screenshots. So, we had this tool, and I remember using it, where you could kind of no-clip through the whole city and go from any angle you wanted and look and record any character and focus on them, which is exactly what scene edit is. A uh, bit of a memory 
flooding back there. And then I saw those screenshots in um, Edge magazine. I actually had that copy out. In fact, I had a couple of those articles on my wall at some point. Heli mission scripts. Lawyer, 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 lawyer. Oh, wow, this is the, is it the exact order of the missions. Colonel, or Cole, I guess. Baron, Kent, probably Kent Paul, Serge, Bank Joe, Bank Job, Porno, Porno 1, 2, 3, 4, Protection, Count, Bike. These are all H-I-A-T-I, H-I-H-A-I-T-1. That'll be the Haiti ones and the Cuban ones. Wow, and the taxi wards, this is great to see, isn't it? And look back at it. It also shows just how few missions there really was. How many is that? I don't know, about 40 or something. Main story missions, I presume. Move entity from less, check if collision is low. La, 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 la. Video cam. Oh, this is a big file. Script.cbp, it's not exactly well named. Are any cars upside down? Has car been upside down for a while? That'll be the one that gets called. And I don't have an IDE here to check where it gets called from and stuff, but maybe in part two I will. But you can guarantee that that one will be, if true, then start fire. Uh, stuck cars. Has car been stuck for a while? That'll obviously make it do something else push its way out or whatever store parameters in it no name ooh this is nice open script main.scm free room underscore miami.scm main.scm they love this miami word and I would like to flash up a couple of screenshots of the dev kit uh, the development build um, when it was called that but that I think that might be pushing NDAs but does an NDA last 20 years? I don't know process commands process commands anyway nobody knows who I am I'm just a dude browsing some code but I aim to prove that I am in this game and that I've been explicitly removed as mentioned earlier. Interesting how they've got brackets around the case statements here, which is completely and utterly pointless as far as I'm aware. Like literally a waste of time. Unless C++, um, no, it's a waste of time. Return, 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 which is one monster boring statement which maybe Looks like a lot of duplicated code, actually, which probably wasn't needed. Go sub. was an old man in the studio that day. Get player coordinates. They spelt the word coordinates properly there. Interesting. <laughs> Teleport. Remove dumb stuff that was present here. I don't know if that's a rock star comment or one of the porters comments. Porter comment, I think, because I don't think there's any Rockstar comments in here. Because if you wrote a game like this without comments, well, you should be shot. Fla, fla I mean, float LV vial is conversion shake, conversion, conversion, conversion. Interesting here. Command create. Char, char meaning character, not char bars. Um, create a cop, P type cop, cop street, cop SWAT, cop FBI, cop army, P type emergency, near the hospital people, P type fireman, oh sorry, ped, 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 not ped. I say ped, they say ped. I don't know if I copied them. I think I did, because I thought it was cool. I want, when I left this company, I wanted to adopt something. You know, I wanted to, to learn. So my use of state machines was gratuitous, and it should be. Um, I wouldn't use those brackets, but that doesn't matter. 
one, uh, it's just personal preference. Coordinates, coordinates, commented out there, still alive. Boring. Is mission script uh, auto panel? Blah, blah, blah. Go to code straight, go to codes. Now they're spelling codes correctly. That guy got fired because he couldn't add a D. Oh no, fine player cools. I bet he was trying to be funny. There's a lot of that in this code. I tried it and well, I was going to say I got slapped, but no, no, I didn't. Car, if, is the, yeah, this is good, yeah. Car status, if it's not wrecked, and car is a boat, or car is not in water. Whew, come on, I'm near the end of this one. Mission finished. Car player is in, parked vehicle. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should be explaining more of this, but like I say, I, I'm just seeing it for the first time in 20 years. I just thought it might be interesting for anyone who worked on this port or is interested in the code to see what someone like me who did look at this code and know it by the back of their hand um, would think. And some funny stories about that, actually. Um, I tried to steal the code once, not not for nefarious purposes or anything like that. I wanted to take it home, right, because I was intimidated that I didn't really understand it. And I thought, right, I'll, I'll take a copy home and I'll, I'll study it at home and I'll build it at home and I'll come back and I'll be like the guy who can understand the code better than anyone. And when people are stuck, I'll come over and go, oh, you don't know about that. But actually, I copied it to a zip disk and when I left the office... Um, and I got home, the zip disk was just full of Alice Cooper MP3s that were corrupt. Now, I don't know whether the, someone swapped my zip disk, or my zip disk was fucked, or they had some, well, this is the most unlikely solution, but some sort of mad magnetic device that wiped media when you left that office. And for a joke, they put Alice Cooper in the, in the wiping mechanism. Now, to be clear, I wasn't trying to steal it to sell it. It'd be interesting if I still had it, but like I say, it got wiped. So, um, did they? Did did I mess up? Did they have a magnetic media wipe system, or was it just that the zip drive, the zip disk, uh, was crap? But I mean, they couldn't have read my mind. Process commands, blah 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 blah. Set scale chip blip for the radar. Hospital restart will be when you re come back to life. Car heading. I also tried, to, no, I tried to take the code for, I think it was, what was it, RenderWare and DirectX. Again, just to learn, but again, that was all wiped with supposed Alice Cooper MPEGs that uh, didn't even play. I was too scared to nick anything after that. Um, although I do have a couple of documents I wrote somewhere, um, never given them to anyone. No grounds to sue me, boys. Is car in air proper? Script 2. That's badly named, isn't it? Script 3. God, do I really want to look through all these? I'll, honestly, I'll just skim through the script ones. These are assuming... I think these are for when the mission script has made something, right? They had a set of tools they could use, and they were called script X, 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are basically, you know, what I would call, you know, static tools. Um, and they're, you know, process commands 500 to 599. These are obviously different things that the, the custom in-house scripting system could create. And then this is how they were interpreted in the game. So um, the mission scripters would drag and drop or whatever they did or actually write some high level scripting and then the engine would interpret the commands um, in 32 commands here using these state machines that would do the work that the mission script I had planned and actually I wish I had just dropped out of being a coder and become a mission scripter because when I joined a AAA studio like that I thought I'd be designing games right I didn't realize no you'll just be coding the boring shit and actually the mission scripters who arguably get paid less and 
well, not arguably, arguably get less respect, actually have a way more time, fun time than you, and influence the end product better. Being a coder at a AAA studio like that, it wasn't actually fun. I went from being tea lady, you know, bin emptier, game designer, sprite designer, AI legend, well, I wouldn't say legend, but, you know, AI designer, all of that shit I love to do. I lost that. Coda or a games company like this, you're basically writing the tools and the framework that gets it done. You're not, you're not having the fun. Um, you're, you might as well become a mission scripter. Is car armed with any bomb? And uh, they offered me a chance to swap at one point web designer because I was actually a web designer at that point before too for about 10 years since the 90s since 95 but honestly I just couldn't handle the demotion of going from uh, one of eight or nine coders to a mission script there or, or a web designer so I uh, I held on and um, in the end it, it ruined me and I I had to resign because it wasn't it wasn't for me too tired all the time really. Is player touching object on foot? Yeah these are all just things that the mission scriptors can do. Now correct me if I'm wrong. God player on foot. No 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 let's get right through all these. It is interesting and I'd love to look at it in more detail at some point. Melee proof. Bulletproof. Fireproof. Command, is car in water? Get Z, boat, go to chords. Is player in shooting area? That must maybe when they're close enough to actually attack you. If they're if you're within the area, highlight the important oh okay, if you're within the area then highlight the important area. And if there's a debug flag, then draw the debug square. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. What did I do there? Just using this new mouse. And I keep thinking there's shocker keys, but there isn't. So I'll just skip right down that. Yeah, same old shit. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to look at these script ones very much more. I'll just really zoom through this one. I'm not sure why these aren't all in the same script, actually. Just split them up to uh, make it easier, I guess. Like Each one seems to handle... Uh, about a hundred different commands. Not, not that there can be a hundred different commands, but I'm quite impressed. There's a lot more depth than I would expect. Of course, this was a world-leading game at the time. Twenty million copies sold, and I always wonder if my name got into any of these. I know I do know that it is in the credits file on this version. No, I haven't found that yet. Line run, Rio. Oh, so you can see there's a couple of things here that probably uh, don't exist anymore, right? What's that? Land store. Line run, Rio, fire truck, trash, stretch, voodoo, mule. Ambulance, FPI, Mr. Whoop. Oh, that'll be the ice cream man, Mr. Whoopie. Uh, Predator, Securicor, Romero, Packer, Squaller, Pizza Boy. Air train. Captain GTA 3. Zebra. Caddy. Flatbed. Dinghy. Hermes. Sabrator. There's loads of stuff that wouldn't have made it into the game here. Phoenix. Walton. Comet. Jet Max. Paul. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's a lot. Idaho. Stinger. That's my watch. Greenwood, unknown car model. Want the multiplier? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, these are cool though. I mean, I don't know why they didn't give them better names than this. Or include them all in the same file. Maybe there's a, a file size limit. Or they just wanted to make it easier, right? It is really quite amazing that this is the whole code of uh, Vice City here. 
which is clearly built on the GTA 3 code. Uh, well, when I when I joined, it was GTA 3, the code. It was GTA 3, and then you know, Brax Miami or whatever. It was quite clear that it was a reskin. Well, that's the best way to do it, though. God Almighty, really going to be quick on these ones. Same shit, same shit. It's just, it's commands that can be given to NPCs, vehicles, things like that, by mission scripters. Hmm. A couple of interesting defines there, though. GTA VC JP patch, Jackman. PC, Xbox, Xbox, mobile. This is all after my tema. There was no mention of Xbox, but there was Katana, I don't remember that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Players in the stadium. Bus fares collected by player. Oh, that's when you pick them up, people up. I, yeah, buy ice cream. You can see where the code there for that. Um, Cutscenes, scrolls. I presume all the Katana stuff's been removed. That was it, was it? Yeah, well, that's the end of them. Script debug. Not going to look at that. Set pieces. Quick glance at that. Just a quick glance. Set pieces being... It doesn't look like it really got used that much, but... Probably when cars and things had to do a certain formation or something. Traffic lights, well, we can guess what that is. 2D. Lights yellow, red, green. Yep. So that was control. Uh, quite a lot of files in there, quite a lot of work, obviously. Um, I didn't look at animation, audio, buildings, collision, that's just couldn't be asked. Core accident. Camera. I remember working with the camera code, right? I did work with this, and, and I remember um, it, it looked at women's asses. That's interesting. OBBE, that was the guy's name, uh, the, one of the technical producers. I don't know if he produced these or whether that is an acronym for something else. Let's have a look at ass. No, no mention of ass. Ass. No. Bum. I, mean, I always wonder if I, uh, if I dreamt this, but I'm sure that the camera used to look at the girls' asses, and I remember even when they were dead, it would uh, stare at them, which I actually found quite hilarious at the time. Arrest cam. And I was process OBBE cinema camera heli. I was um, excited to work on the camera code. And some of this code is probably mine. Not that I can remember. And, and I was trying to stick to their rules. And I was scared to write anything bad. So it would have been copy-paste uh, with some changes rather than, you know, Gaz was here. Obi, Obi, Obi. Is that Obi? Why did he do that? This is very strange code. Let's have a look. For old mode equals old mode plus one. Mod six. Try to start new cam mode. That is very odd code. What does that mean? For old mode equals old mode. Seven. You know, it's a strange use of a uh, for loop. Fire's going on. Yeah, I think this should have been uh, refactored to remove the OB stuff, because that's obviously written by him. I've done that myself many times, uh, just to make sure that I know what it is. But eventually, it often gets refactored. But I guess it doesn't if things are uh, working and uh, nobody cares. Free cam. Free cam. 
Yeah, I remember the free cam. That was the one I was talking about, which was used in the demo, I think. Unless it, it also could be something to do with one of the zoom of the guns. Car zoom value. No, I don't remember being able to zoom from a car. I think they may have been... What the hell? I think that might have been debug stuff, you know. Uh, fading, blah, 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 blah. Right, so... After camera, what are we looking at? I can't be asked to look at CD stream. I presume that's the music. Clock. No, it'll be obvious. Crime. Just a header file for crime. No actual file. So I presume there's a lot of uh, definitions in here. Yes, different types of crime, right? Non gun possession, hit ped, hit cop, shoot ped. Steel car, run over cop, ped burn, cop burn, vehicle burn, destroyed Cessna. Cessna, what was that? Oh, it was a flying thing, wasn't it? Nasty weapon. Nasty weapon. And that's about it for that one. Debug, we won't look at that. Directory, we won't need to look at that. File loader, nope. Fire. of fires general game well this one should be huge message screen you know these are just initialized renderware yeah that was the engine they used renderware um, I think these are just static Tools is what I would call them. Shut down renderware, initialize after renderware, final shut down. Yeah, these are just generic uh, game tools. Um, what does that load? Water.dat. That's interesting. Different water levels come from a file called water.dat. Set up streaming, loading the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number of players. See, that was probably where I came in. Probably thought that, you know, networking, there'll be multiple people. Nope, I bet you number of players was never above one, apart from on my version of the game. Largest free block, it's talking about memory here. Um, if it's less than, what's that, 2 meg? No. Uh, 200k? And the intro is not playing. Remove big buildings. Level industrial, level commercial, level suburban. Cleaning up, so it cleans up the memory if you're low and the intro is not on. Animations, models, generic shite. Can see water from current area. Area main map, area mansion, area hotel. So obviously turning on the water if it's possible to see it. Um, general any 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 file in it initialize yeah that just reads in the GTA three dot any file. Curiously still called GTA three and works out the maximum number of peds in use. Default maximum number of peds. Actually, I want to see what that is. Should be able to find it in any file.h, right? Default maximum number of PEDs was 25. And for some reason they decided to use a float for that, which is pointless. Number of PEDs interior was 40. So you could have more indoors than you could out. It's funny to think they only had 25 people at any number of time. And number of max number of cars, 12? That seems so low. In my current game, I have 256 people uh, available in one level at a time. But obviously, PS, uh, PS2 had shit memory, and they had to remove things. And you could see them coming in now, and you could see people getting duplicated. You could see, like... Ten guys who look just like Michael Jackson walking along the street at the same time when the memory was low. They still work miracles. Menu screens. I did work with these. I did help uh, with some of this shit. 
I remember helping with some German translation at one point. And these are just the, um, what are they, en enumerations to define uh, the different menu screens as you can see. Check save, go back, save game, blah blah blah. I'm going to miss out custom pad, placeable, player info. We'll have a quick glance at player info. Because I, I realise this is going on forever. This is just a clear to in, uh, reinitialize everything. S next sex frequency update time. Next sex money update time. Sex frequency. Hooker equals nil. Time tank shotgun. This is basically everything a player can be, or an NPC can be. Fireproof. Get out of jail free. Get out of hospital free. Drive-by allowed. They did have drive-bys, didn't they remove drive-bys? Oh no. I, mean, I think, they, uh, I don't know if anyone knows that, but there was drive-bys in a helicopter at one point, I think, in the... They got rid of them, I think. Or oh, maybe I'm talking shit. Havoc level. Busted audio. Do 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 do. Engine status. There is a car path near. Yeah, just random initialization shit. Fine player coolers. What was that I just looked up? Yeah, player info. Pools. This will be the pools to hold different things so they can come in and out of memory without being uh, reinitialized every time I guess to save on um, the speed it takes to initialize and also the memory used up and uh, I'm not sure There's obviously C++ has no garbage collection so they would have to clean it up on their own so they'd just keep a pool to make it better I'm guessing here by the way Copy the buffer, blah blah blah, lots of C. Profile, I looked at that, didn't I? Yeah. Radar, oh, I've had a lot of fun coding radars, I'll tell you that. Avery Sprite, Biker Sprite, Cortez Sprite, Diaz Sprite, Kent Sprite. This good, Boatyard Sprite, Malibu Club Sprite, that was the mission I did the voice for. At the end, no, it was a race outside the Malibu Club. If you kill a certain guy, but it's interesting that um, you know people say you got to keep it generic, dude. You can't just have like specifics like that. But they did, you know, Phil Sprite, Malibu Sprite. You, there's, there's times where you cannot keep it generic. You do need to put in things like this: Radio K Chat Sprite, Radio Fever Sprite. Yeah, Vindication. From all those people who were like, oh, keep it generic. And, and back then they didn't power any of this by XML, by the way, or JSON. I, did, I don't even think XML or JSON or N existed, did it? It's like C, CSV files, I think, back then. Radar minimum. Why this doesn't coincide with the world coordinates, I do not know. Yeah, well, they just messed up, but mate, they just arbitrarily picked minus 2,000 there and plus 2,000 <clears throat> change blip brightness I don't know is that for uh, when you get closer or when it's higher or lower clear blip why not a proper clipping algorithm they've put in if def this is stupid I presume that is from the porters right I don't remember that in the game so I think that's whenever they're pointing out that like the code was a bit wank. Huh. Okay. Clip line, blah blah blah. Clip radar poly boring. Draw radar map, this is how they actually drew the radar. Rasta, I haven't seen that word in a while. Interesting though, I did like their radar. I did like it. I think it's still better than mine. 
and I've rewritten mine multiple times. Set texture, love fist. I remember love fist. Some of the guys who worked on the, co the company were in love fist. In fact, that guy, the musician Will Morton, I was talking about earlier, he's the York, one of the Yorkshiremen who plays um, one of the voices of love fist. Who's like stalking you or something? Oh no, he plays the stalker. <coughs> one of the guys in love fist was one of the coders on GTA and Manhunt, and he always wore an Argentina shirt and he had a long ginger hair. I remember him clearly. He's in the game quite often, and that's what he wore every day. I said that to one of the producers when I spoke to him not long ago, and he was like, I don't know who you mean, I have no idea. I was like, what? How could you not notice that some bloke dressed in an Argentina shirt with long ginger hair every single day? And that, and he's all over the game. I think he's in Love Fist. He is, right? Mm, 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 mm. Radar, right. Ropes? There was no ropes, my friend. Was there? I don't remember a rope. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, dangling from the helicopter. SWAT coming down on the rope. Yeah, that must be that, yeah. Uh, stats. Can't be asked to look at that. Streaming. They had a streaming system that would come from the disc, and if the disc was dirty or slow or something was wrong with the PlayStation, then that's when the textures wouldn't appear. I remember that. Time step, that'll just be some physics shit. Use a... No, that could be put elsewhere. Um, wanted, this must be the wanted level systems. Our FBI required. Our squat re squat. SWAT required. Our army required. Number of heli required. Set wanted level. Oh, it was called chaos underneath the wanted level. If you ever wanted to know that. Chaos. And the different levels were in integers. 0, 70, 200, 570, 1220, 2420, 4820. That's interesting. So if you were level 6... Your chaos was 4,820. Hmm. And I dare say they are magic numbers of sorts that they fine-tuned over time. Register crime. Uh, oh, different crimes. Gun possession, hit ped, hit cop, shoot ped, shoot cop, steal car, run red light. So you actually get chaos, or wanted, for running a red light. Which is, it'll add to the chaos uh, 10 times whatever you pass in, right? Chaos. Reckless driving, spelled. No, that's spelled correctly. Uh, speeding, run over a ped, run over a cop, shoot a helicopter, burn a ped, burn a cop, vehicle burn, destroyed Cessna. I don't know why the Cessna was its own thing. Was that a military uh, vehicle? Because it jumps from 20 for burning a vehicle to 500 for uh, destroying a Cessna. Explosion, hit ped with a nasty weapon, hit cop with a nasty weapon. So when you hit a ped it's 35 chaos, when you hit a cop it's 100 chaos. Uh, update the unwanted level, that tells, that's interesting. It tells you that as the chaos goes up it tells you the maximum number of cops, maximum number of enforcement vehicles and the density that the roadblock can be. So if you're at the max chaos, which is anything over 4,800, which does mean that uh, 4,000, oh no, what's that one of them? Uh, 820 was just arbitrary, so it would be over 4,800. Then the maximum number of law enforcement vehicles is only three that was higher than that. Cops 10, roadblock density 30. We've got the police presence, that's just tell you how many police are actually there, I guess. Reset police pursuit, update crimes, queue, suspend. Whew, okay, this has been going on a while. Uh, I'm not going to go on much longer, uh, I'm, I'm just interested, you know. World. Everything about the world. Oh. Everything about the world, yeah. 
process line of sight. These are just a bunch of tools, I'm going to skip that. Zone call, that will be just calling shit that's far away. Zones will be the different where they are. Common, config. Config, this is the one I really want to see. Disables most stuff that wasn't in the original GTA Vice City exit. Okay, not really anything of any interest. GTA VC, PC Jar, PC 10, PC 11, different versions. They mentioned Android there, but I, there was no mention of Android. Android didn't exist, obviously, so I doubt that this was what they... Well, they would have ported this to native Android, I guess. RE3.CVP. Languages for Russia, and just languages, initialization, controllers, etc. Did I miss an interesting one? Did I look at main? I did look at main, surely. Main. Again, just loads of. This is stupid. Nonsense. Yeah, initialization crap. Chatty splash. Random splash. Downtown golf. Little Haiti, Haiti docks, airport, blah, 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 blah. It is interesting to see that. Uh, specifics. Lots of uh, debug out there that nobody would have ever saw on a PlayStation that didn't have, that wasn't a dev kit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Frames per second counter, okay. New renderer. World 0, 1 and 2. Render fading in underwater entities. Mm -hmm. Bugs, fixed a few clipping bugs there by the looks of it. Who knows? There might have been uh, some performance ruined by the clipping things there. Slow mode, I don't remember that. Starting game. The memory card dot check card inserted. I think Derek wrote a lot of that memory card stuff. I was sitting right next to him when he did it. Italian, German, yeah. I remember that day. I remember the, the conversion to German. That we got it from the translators, obviously, but um, some of them were too long. I came up with, uh, what was it? They had a long word for map, and I was like, oh, I did German air level. It was, it was like brief cart or just cart, something like that. And they used it. GTA PAL, English.gxt. And I don't think they ever used English.gxt. And this, American.gxt, is what I'm most interested in. Because my name is in there, which I will demonstrate next. But uh, why is it not in the credits? And I will find that in this code when I build it. MPEGs, so they used MPEG for the intro scene, I guess. Everything else was real time, but they must have used uh, MPEGs for the actual intro, the one with all the, you know, panning of um, silhouettes of guns and stuff, which was cool. And that was where my name was removed. Main.cpp, okay, so oh, we nearly got through it. Right, so we got through core. Quick glance at entities. I'm not looking at this. No, I don't care. 
uh, extras. What's extras? Sha one. Let's forget. Custom pipes, debug menu. I think that's all new. Screen droplets. Fake RW. <laughs> RTCHRS. I think that might be a renderware. Um, like replacement, right? Hack. So this wouldn't have even been looked at by the Rockstar people ever because, well, we did have the code for Renderware, but people used Renderware. They didn't fake it. It's obviously some kind of drop in. Math. Now, nobody gives a shit about that. It's interesting to see they did use quaternions because quaternions are the hardest things in the universe. And this is probably what that Polish bloke was doing. They're using slurp there to move something from A to B over time. Uh, but yeah, I use quaternions in, in, in Unity, but uh, I just guess. Too, too complicated. But yeah, nice to see they were back in New Stone, unless that's been added uh, recently. Model info. Clump model, model indices, ped model. I presume that's all to do with loading an FBX or, or .obg or whatever they used. Again, not something I... I'm interested in cutscene objects, pets. Oh God, we could go. We could be here all day. Let's just have a look at one of these pets. Which one? Pet AI. Different states they can do. Different objectives. Flee on foot. Kill counter on foot. Kill counter any means. Character on foot till safe, blah blah blah. Hassle character. Follow character in formation. Leave car. Enter car as passenger. Run to area. Go go to pizza on foot. Go to shelter on foot. Go to ice cream van on foot. So exciting seeing this. Hail taxi. Beautiful code, I think. <laughs> I don't know how the guys did this. They definitely did some serious amount of work. Can you imagine reverse engineering this to get back what assembly and then somehow working out what every variable is? Like I say, they must have had help there because it would be impossible. So they they've got the debug symbols, I guess, only used in zero one e one. Isn't that the very first cutscene? Maybe not. The one where Tommy gets fat by a massive man. Guard spot, waiting car, hassle car, no, hassle car, a steel car, blah blah blah. This is just amazing to see, isn't it? It's like you can see the last 20 years flashing before your very eyes in one switch statement. There's things they like catch train. I don't think anyone ever caught a train, right? You couldn't even... Was there a train? You couldn't even get on a train if there was. And nobody could catch it. Sunbathe. Aim gun at. Solicit foot. Go to ATM. You can see things that never happened. Or well, maybe they happened, but I never noticed. Clear leader. Waiting car, blah, 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 blah. God, this is a big one. That's what she said. Hail taxi. Maybe they did hail taxis. It's funny to think that this code itself took many years to write. And you can imagine, too, to get this right, to get each case here. Some of them will have been working, and then they just copy, paste it, put it in, add them as over time as they needed them. And actually, those brackets on the case statements, they do make sense, because they encapsulate it, right? It allows you to realize where it begins and ends. I've never done that before. 
but you know what after seeing this I might actually start doing it although he didn't do it here look different bloke maybe who was like nah and back then I used to keep my brackets my curly brackets braces on the same line like they've done but I don't anymore for the same reason for clarity right so you can see where something starts and ends easily I would knock those down every time but again that could be the porters well it will be the porters coding style and not the original code in fact those brackets in the case statements also will be from the porters the, when I say porters I mean the people who re-engineered it reverse engineered it um, the coding style here probably isn't representative of the original team the variable names will be and the logic itself if GTA train I think that might just be code from GTA 3 I don't know. yeah there was a train because you could run along and it would hit you I think uh, waiting for an ice cream fan next point along the route sound ped Hans Kawa that'll be them going no oh. gun panic Ped aim gun yeah, I don't know if anyone's interested in this video to be honest I'm just just me talking as I look at the code but in my mind I thought when I found this I thought that would be interesting for someone right who would like to sit next to one of the original coders and talk about it obviously it would be better if you were sitting with a coder who was more involved than me and was there a lot longer and wrote this then that would be really interesting but uh, I don't think many of them are going to do this so I thought I would formation blah 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 vehicle door being dragged from car. Yeah, see, there's a classic piece of code that everyone in the world knows. That method there, that function, has probably been called billions of times. That single method for being dragged from a car has been called billions of times. How many times has that line been called globally? And you can see the time it takes, look. I think that is. Blend animation, so get clump, I presume that's from the original where he's sitting to wherever he's going, it takes a thousand dot zero F, that'll be one second if it's a bike then obviously it's quicker you hit him off looks like there's no blending there to be done it's just an animation I do remember conversations about the car doors, so you meant to be able to should they bounce off, should they have physics or should they just go through things we did have a meeting that mentioned that one day. Enter car, you see, this was like a dream. How do you get people to enter a car properly? And I can do all that in Unity now, I've done it. And it was enjoyable, you know. You set up a position where they need to be the optimum position and then they go to that position and you trigger the animation and you use root motion to um, make them look perfectly sit in the car and open the door. That would that was quite elusive at the, for a while. This car is being carried by any crane. Probably that crane one where it pushes them or something. One is pick up, the other one is pull up. Not the same. It's being picked up, it's being picked up. Exit boat. That's all here, that's what you'd expect. Is bus. Left hand side, right hand side car doors. There's a vehicle on its side. Yep. And these all fire off to, you know, some math that works off works out if the vehicle's on its side. If it's a bike, knock off the rider. Yep. And then by get off back when you're sitting on the back, yeah. If there is someone in front of the door making fall while we exit. Bike Vespa Harley Dirt. Ah, oh, 
Oh, so much code. I say that, but you know, a lot of my code is 20,000 lines. This is only uh, 5,000. And a train. See, I just don't remember a train. Is the door fully open? Exit train. Best coordinates. Warp paired to near entity off screen. Okay, so put them close to somewhere, but make sure that they're not on screen. Not allowed to duck. Stop and shoot. Attack in progress. Can be damaged by this gang member. I'm not going to look at any more of the paired stuff, although I'm interested that they have IK back in those days. I didn't think that IK even existed back then. Uh, meaning allowing to move their hands and limbs to the right position. For years I thought they just used perfect animations for that, but no, of course they didn't, right? If someone's aiming a gun at you, they don't have an animation for every single um, angle, so it is IK, okay, obviously. Player paired, is that the actual character? Pad, move to game world move 60 some sort of speed make changes for new weapon surprised they didn't have an animation for pulling weapons out properly but they didn't population sorry I gotta look at that this will be where they generate the peds and distribute them around the world. Choose next civilian occupation. Picking people's jobs at random. Is sunbather? Load ped groups. Looks like this comes from pedgrp.dat, which is the, so that dot dot file that uh, contains a list of different things. I'm surprised there isn't more dot dat stuff actually. Um, around. Generate PEDs at start of game. Looks like it generates a hundred PEDs there. But I didn't think it was able to do that. Minimum distance is 10, only for the start of the game, naturally. PED creation distance multiplier. Ooh, gives them different weapons. Colt 45. So when they add a PED, if they're a sieve female or a civ male civilian then it can be given a call 45 a night stick a golf club or a tech nine tech nine yeah give delayed weapons so some of them didn't get a weapon till later for a cop uh, they don't seem to get anything but they must, they must. Add to population, so the population will be all the people in the game. Uh, it is vindicating me on my new game. Uh, I don't know if I got my ideas from reading this code in the past, or whether I did it off my own accord. I think I did it off my own accord. Line gang members in formation. Gonna, if gonna sunbathe, <laughs> then they'll, they'll go into a wait state. Wait state, sunbathe, idle. What's that? Toy pause. Toy pause. Create. Oh, let's see. That's the creation of the beach toys. Beach toy, any towel. I had one of them beach towels. <laughs> Pointless. And this is already a for loop. I presume that's the porters who've put that in. Add paired in car. Rhino barracks. Get through it. Test safe. Is skatable. That's uh, finding a position to see if it is skatable. If it's tarmac or pavement. Remove pad if the pool gets full. That doesn't mean swimming pool. 
is male. Wow. Mist, most, myri, mori, maybe, motri. I don't know what any of that is. Bug. Why not JMOO? Is female, yeah. So they obviously had different code words for male and female types. And there's quite a lot of types, actually. Random gang size. Choose civilian couple occupations. Pet skater. Place gang members in a formation. Yeah, they did sort of walk in a formation. Place them in a circle. Place mall pets as stationary group. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. That brings us to the end of PEDS, even though I haven't fully looked at it. Renderer I'm not going to look at. RW, that'll be the render we're faking again, I guess. Lights and memory, nah, no one cares about that. Save, that'll just be the save and load. Skel, skeleton. Cross-platform, uh, yeah, that's just for events and cross-platform stuff. Text, this is where the credits should be, right? Let's have a look. Cred. No, no credits in there, boy. Just a bunch of static tools for um, displaying messages. Big messages. Pager. The pager. Was there a pager? No credits. The pager. That's half from GTA 3. Or did he have a pager in? Anyway, it's more static. Toolage. Text.cpp. No, nope, no credits. And no, oh, GXT. Okay, it did, it did do this. So this is where the GXTs were loaded, yeah? Uh, Trunkheader.magic. <laughs> Unload, get... Uppercase table, French uppercase table, loads of language bullshit. Yeah. Well, in the next one, I'll build it and find where they cut people out. Upgrade to ASCII. Upgrade to ASCII. Text copy. Text.cvp. You know, we're, we're pretty close to the end of looking at this code, actually. I mean, it's been a silly quick look, but I don't want to bore the pants off anyone. Automobile.cpp, this could be an interesting one. Obviously, the car uh, behavior, bandit, raider, goblin, top fun, caddy, baggage, radio off. Okay, so this one tells you what radio station will be done. For Hunter Angel Free, we'll use V Rock, and all the ones I just listed a second ago will not have radio. Handling is van, handling is big, handling is bus, handling is low. So, just this is defining the um, physics for the doors here for different vehicles and the handling, buoyancy. This will be some of the mad shit that that. Genius Polish guy was writing behind me. Sand slowdown 0.01 F. God, this is amazing. Sea sparrow gun position. Healy wind. Is real Healy? Obviously, is real helicopter. Or is it Healy wind? Improved grip of vehicles in certain cases. Activate bomb when entered. Park car, car being jacked, fire truck, rhino. Whew, this is uh, exciting, but uh, you know, a bit, a bit intense. Tire, tire temperature. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff. Is the handbrake on? Tire temperature. I remember the guy showed me this, and I was like, really? You're worried about temperature of tires and? inflatedness of wheels and uh, you know just stuff that I thought would not be so deep front wheels on the ground second try yep. ok 
car bonnet. There you go, you can see that they are Brits. I'm going to say English there, but that would be quite offensive considering 99% of the studio were actually Scots. I was English, I still am, and uh, the guy I sat next to, Derek Payne, he was English. Adam was English, if I remember rightly. Um, there was a studio manager, what was he called? Andy Semple, he was Scottish. Most people are Scottish. And that caused a bit of entertainment during the World Cup, of course. I think they were in the World Cup. Uh, they, they let us just sit and watch the World Cup, by the way. They were like, you know, if you want to watch a game, just watch it, you know, as long as we're not trying to nail the games, uh, finish the game off. So we did stop and watch uh, football games. I remember seeing them guys from the Manhunt team sitting on sofas watching. I felt a little bit cheeky because I was a noob. They're getting up and just watching a football game when I was still trying to learn the code and trying to work out what was going on and realised that I didn't even have a modem. So I think I just wandered over for a few minutes just to see if I could get friendly with the Argentina man. Rain on roof. No exhaust. FBI Ranch, FBI Chi, what is that? I mean, not, not FBI, Vice Chi, what's Vice Chi? Must be a car, right? Kaufman, Cabby, Zebra. I could lean over right now and go, Oi, mate, Derek, what's the Chi? Dude, you haven't been here long, have you? What's a pointer? How do you use a pointer? I remember going there and going like, Shit, man, I can't even remember how pointers work. Java's way better than this. It's all pointers, and everyone's like, don't, don't mention Java. Make us sick. Actually, I did my uh, master's thesis on... Uh, after I left Rockstar, I went and did a master's degree, and I did my thesis on um, the use of Java for commercial games. And uh, when I told people at Rockstar I was leaving to do that, they laughed, and they were like, nobody will ever write a game in Java, ever. Well, you know, Minecraft's Java. Every Android game's Java. Almost everything's Java or C Sharp, which is the same thing. So, I actually sent a questionnaire to all the coders and developers because I had them all on my email, asking them their opinions, and I used that in my thesis. And then I got an email from Rockstar saying, "You can't use any of that information in your thesis. That's all confidential." Of course, I didn't use it in my thesis, wink, wink. Do sun glare. Israel Heli. Blah, 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 blah. You Polish madman. Blurred rear rotor, blurring things. He's still pure. Well, game always uses pad zero here. Alright, alright, alright. That's a lot of code. Lovely code. I love it. B, OB, cinematic car cam. There, he's back again, OB. OB. Well, in uh, OB? OB. It's OB, not OB. OB1 Kenobi. OB. Why didn't you refactor those VARs? Or am I totally wrong? And don't sue me. Wing. Goblin, if the light is broken. Come on, get to the end. He's pissing it down out there. His door missing, his car, blah, 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 blah. Dead ped makes tires bloody. Excellent. That's a method name I want to use. I'm going to start copying some of this. Make tires muddy sector list. Set bus time attack. See, they had so much. Make wind rip off bonnet. Again, we all know that bit of code, don't we? Process swinging door. We all know that. And that was the one we had a conversation about. Should the door swing? Should it fall off? Should it hit lampposts? Should the bonnets fly off? Spawn flying component car bonnet. Make both doors invisible on car. 
which must be when they just fell off. No, they didn't fall off, did they? Automobile fix. Yes, yes, yes. Remove bonnet in pet collision. Jesus, we've got to the end of automobile. And I will not bore you with all the other ones, uh, which I presume are more or less the same. Train. I'm interested in this train thing. There was a train, wasn't there? Oh, you GTA fans will be like, Dude, you worked on the game and you didn't even know there was a train. I got confused because I played Liberty City Stories on the PSP. And Vice City stories, I think. And, but uh, Vice City, I love the game. And despite any bias, I just love it. it it's, it's the best game ever in the music. And it's a benchmark of mine. Quick look at vehicle. Not a fast, not a lot. Just quick. This must be the kind of class they inherited from, I guess, for all vehicles. A shitload of uh, things there. Car horn timer. Car horn delay, blah 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 blah. Ooh, what happens when they get hit? Inflict damage, right? All the different things. Brass knuckle, screwdriver, golf club, nightstick, knife, baseball bat. All the, it tells you the damage. In fact, it implies here that they don't take damage if they're bulletproof. Melee proof. Well, I say melee. Is it melee? Melee. I'm sure there's guns here that weren't in the game. Stubby shotgun, was that in the game? Laser scope. Molotov explosion. Flamethrower. Rammed by car. Do fixed machine guns. Do tank doom. Do tank doom aiming. Somebody was having a good day that day. Car bombs. Shuffle passengers to make space. God, they did a good job on this game, didn't they? And the porters. Vice Chi, Chi Chi. It's just some Jeep or something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's those is upside down. And such a simple method. Is upside down. Again, how many times has that been called? Four trillion times. If... Z is greater than minus 0 0.9. No, it's not upside down. Else, yes, it is. Can be deleted. Can paired open locks. Lock doors, blah, blah, blah. Can paired jump out of car. Can paired jump off bike. You really needed me, didn't you, just to go through this and go, oh, that's what it's called, and that's how it's done. Is sphere touching vehicle? That tells you if there's a sphere touching the vehicle. <sighs> right. That's the end of that one. Actually, there's not yeah, not as many pointless stuff as I thought. Vehicles. <clears throat> weapons. And we're going to be done after this. I'm going to look at you know, one weapon. And I'm going to look at uh, the American.gxt and show you my name in the credits. And maybe you yourself... If you're a part of this team or you're a tinkerer, you can tell me why the fuck I'm not in the game. Unless I am in the game and I just miss it. Fire, melee, different animations, blood splurts, chainsaw, doesn't get used very often, does it? Um, heli cannon. Glass, I saw there. Laser scope dart, so all the shit you'd expect from gun handling. Do drive by auto aiming. I'd like to see the code which I think was in the, the helicopter drive bys, and then it must have commented it out or something like that. Oops. New mouse, I keep pressing these buttons and they don't exist. Had a G300S. Had shortcut keys on the left and on the right, but it broke, and I can't find a mouse with shortcut keys on the right anymore. Right, weapons. And that is it for the source. I know I didn't look at it properly, but.
but what I'm going to do here is find uh, American.gxt, right, which must be utils.gxt. So build, what's build.bat? Well, it just makes them, right, using the gxt. Now, is gxt a real exe? Or is that a Rockstar made exe? We don't know because there's no code for that. I suspect that gxt.exe is made by Rockstar and that is where the excluding is done because I can't see it anywhere else. So if you look at, uh, let's say, American.gxt, txt, but in the game it's gxt if I remember. Now you search for me, I am called Gareth Murphan. Oh, Gareth, tell me I'm there. Tell me I'm there. I'm not. How can that be? Actually, that doesn't seem to contain the credits. That's something else. English.text. Let's just check. Does that have the credits in? Oh, well, there's credits in there. All right. Oh no! I should be there. There's Bahrain. Remember I said Bahrain, Korean girl. There's Derek, the guy I sat next to. Uh, I don't know everyone. It's interesting. Andy Semple is cred two five five. Pretty sure that was me. Stuart Petri, he was the web dev. Um, this is kind of odd. I don't believe this. Oh, you know what? When I went back, I went to the wrong branch. See, I'm back on master. That's uh, GTA 3. So in fact, uh, if Andy Semple had my credit slot on GTA 3, I'm very honoured, Andy, you legend. He was the studio manager, um, although, you know, whoever was involved in getting rid of the old Benz is a bit of a fool. So I'm going to bet you, I'm scared here, but I'm going to bet you I'm here. Whoo! 255, Gareth Murphy, that's me. Because we're on the Miami branch. I took the part of Andy Semple. So my question to all of you experts out there is why am I not in there? And where is the code that removes 255? Is it built into gtx.exe? Am I there and I just never saw myself because the font's so small and I'm blind? But as you can see at this point, they were adding like really silly things, right? Like Pivo, that was the pub we used to drink at. Ice bar, that was a pub we used to drink. A waterline was a pub restaurant we used to go to. Um, so I suspect that someone was like, do we really need to credit all these people? Like, you know, Chris Morton, no, that was Will Morton's brother, actually. I think he did some guitar work on my games on my massacre. Um, Ice bar, is that in the real credits? But then you can see it's quite important, additional art. Cutscene, all of these people are in. Um, yeah, all the radio start channels and everything. Um, Dan Hauser, you know, this isn't pork chop. This isn't uh, people who they don't want in. These are the people, the main people look written by Dan Hauser and Laszlo. This is big time. I'm not sure where the credits get processed, um, but I'll be interested to find out, and I will build it. And I'll sneak myself back in in my own personal copy. But yeah, this is a great file to look at because it's got all the text. Like I said earlier, there's no XML, JSON. This is just a text file they passed. Um, I think that's it for my first look. I've achieved everything I wanted to do. 
Uh, you can see all the text here. For the pussy, that's why. What is this? This is my art, security. Yeah, that's a good first look at the um, decompiled source of GTA 3 Miami, aka Vice City. Shame there's no code for GT, uh, GXT.exe. Someone, someone needs to decompile that. Anything else interesting in here? That's GitHub, that's from the Autocomp CMA Code Warrior. Haven't heard that one in a while. Images. Oh yeah, and this has been ported to the Nintendo Switch, by the way. ReVC. Um, I'm not sure if Rockstar shut them down or not, but it, it's, it's all very cool. Vendor. So I think that's it. That's uh, to overly verbose look at the code and I think the guys who did this have done an absolutely fantastic job very very impressed and this is so exciting because you don't you no longer have to sneak through a magnetic you know uh, zip disk wiper Alice Cooper replacer you can actually download it from here and build it using Visual Studio which is a bit shit but you know it works sometimes and have your own copy of Vice City and you need to own the game too so it's hardly illegal surely um, it's a clean room re-implementation shall we say thing is it isn't actually because it's a, it's a decompilation so um, Rockstar would probably be well within their rights to screw them for this and I think they have because I, I did glance at one page earlier this one so you can see GTA modding RE3 has been has been taken down by DMCA so maybe this other uh, repo I'm looking at is just um, yeah, under the radar 24 hour time cycle for GTA you can see GTA 3 script specs I would love to look at that anyway I'm not going to waste any more of your time thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed that um, or if you found it exceedingly boring whatever um, I'm just looking at it. I didn't give away any company secrets. I haven't broken any NDAs. No one even knows who I am. I was removed from the game. I don't exist. So, um, thanks a lot. Cheers.